Rev up your engine! Today I'm gonna talk about Christmas gifts that you shouldn't buy this holidays. Now there's nothing worse than buying a product and getting it and finding it's a pile of junk that doesn't work. That's why I test them out for you. And here's what really irks me. I don't even buy this stuff. People send it to me. But it still infuriates me when I get something like this camera system. This is a new cam. It's supposed to be able to see all around. So if you have a big truck, you can look, an RV, but you can stick it on anything you want because it's magnetic. Now the magnet works perfectly fine, but unfortunately it won't sync with my thousand dollar phone. So it's useless. And it's not like this is cheap. This is almost a $200 camera setup. Unfortunately, I see this stuff all the time with this Chinese made stuff. The software is absolutely garbage. From my experience, you want something like this that works, you get the camera and you get the receiving unit with the screen as one piece. Don't ever buy one of these things that operates on an app if it's made in China. From my experience, you want something like this that works, you get the camera and you get the receiving unit with the screen as one piece. Don't ever buy one of these things that operates on an app if it's made in China. I mean, check out the quality. This is brand new. And the paint's already coming off of the stupid thing. Now here's another product not to buy. It's called the F. 1Z turbocharger. You're supposed to turbocharge your car. You're supposed to put this between your air filter and the intake where the air sucked into the engine and it's going to turbocharge your car. What a bunch of nonsense. Now let's face it, if something this simple got more power or better gas mileage, they'd build them all that way. Yeah, turbochargers and superchargers, they can ram more air into the engine. This thing is just taking the air that's already there and it makes this spin around. I actually tested these and found they actually made the cars run worse because they actually restricted the airflow. You want a nice clean airflow, not something in the way that's disturbing the airflow. Even the geese aren't falling for that one. So although geese may fly, this does not. Now the next thing not to buy is this nano layer that supposedly keeps your car from getting scratched. It's another one of those ceramic car coating scams. And if you don't believe it, check out my phone. Yes, it is $356 on Amazon. And what do you get? 56 milliliters of the solution. That's a little bit less than two ounces, but it does come with applicator pads and microfiber towels to buff it with. Now I personally find it disgusting that companies sell stuff like this for these outrageous prices to people that think, wow, it must be great stuff. It costs so much money. It's just another one of these ceramic scams. And of course this one takes it to the ultimate. It not only is ceramic, but it's nano too. Nano nonsense. Where does it come from? Let's check it. It comes all the way from Turkey. Gee, try to get your money back from somebody in Turkey if you're living in Tennessee like me. Luckily, I did not buy it. I was sent it. I tried it out. And now it's on my list of things not to buy for Christmas. But I can't be a complete downer for Christmas, so here's some stuff that you might want to get for Christmas. There's nothing like a quality creeper when you're working on a car. You don't want to get dirty and you don't want to have to jack it 50 feet up in the air. This is an excellent plastic one, it won't rust, you can wipe crud off it easily. It's got real bearings on it so they can spin and go around and not stick. They're even lubricated with grease. And in a pinch you can go for a little sleigh ride. It makes a great gift for those who've got cars that are low to the ground. So they won't hurt their neck and they won't get all dirty. They can wheel around. Now the next gift comes in a can. It's called Wheel Driver. Now when you know you're taking things apart and putting things together, what do you do? You're always losing the bits. But in this case, the bits are not only in the can. You lose the can, that's just too bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's on you. Really enough, when you push the inside of the wheel, there's more bits hidden inside here. Good idea. So you don't lose stuff. You can use it in different ways. If you need more angle power, you can stick it here and drive. Or if you're in a hurry, it's got a cool ratchet. Pretty neat little device. And I love the little wheel can because it goes inside. There it is. And if your wife is like mine, 
They like things neat. They don't want tools all over the place. All these bits are in the can in one place. You can put it in a drawer. Pretty good idea. And then it's no more. I don't have the right screwdriver bit. I don't have the right hex bit. It's all in one can. Now the last cool tool that I found is something that impressed the heck out of me. It's called the Terra Hiker Cordless Tire Inflator. See this tiny little thing? I was able to fill up four Corvette tires with this thing on one charge. It even shows you the pressure that's inside them. Push of a button, you got power. It's got a 12 volt lithium ion battery. It also has a plug. You can recharge it in your car when you're driving around later if need be. So you got gigantic tires. Plug the plug in and run it off your cigarette lighter if you have to. It also works quite well on motorcycle tires. You don't want a big giant compressor to put in your motorcycle. You can put this under the seat. So now you know some products to buy and some not to buy for your loved ones these holidays. Have a happy holidays and keep watching for my advice. And here's some bonus questions and answers. Born to drive. Volkswagen or Subaru, what's more reliable? Well, Subaru by a country mile these days. Volkswagens were very reliable vehicles back in the 60s when they were making air-cooled Beetles with four-cylinder air-cooled engines that could run forever. Not anymore. They own Volkswagen, owns Porsche, Audi. All that high technology is thrown into their Volkswagens, and they use a lot of plastic, electronic crap in them. The Subarus are much more reliable. And yes, some Subarus have transmission problems. All the Volkswagens have transmission problems. They have automatic transmissions practically, so the Subarus are much better than Volkswagens if you're talking about modern vehicles that are less than 25, 30 years old. <laughs> Mario Salowski says, Good morning. What do you think of a 2018 F-150 5-liter engine rattling and oil consumption? Sad but true, they don't make them like they used to. You didn't give the mileage on it, but back in the day, we used to get two, 300,000 miles, and maybe when they had 200, 250, you'd use a quart of oil every 1,000 miles or something. Not that big of a deal when you get all their mileage, but they, you know, they're just not making things like they used to, which is kind of odd because the oil is better than it used to be. The metallurgy today is better than it used to be. In my grandfather's day, all cars burn oil because the engines weren't made out of the best metal. The piston rings weren't. The oil wasn't the greatest. It was non-detergent oil. It wasn't even detergent oil that cleaned. So they would wear out faster. But today, with metallurgy and fine oil, they shouldn't do it. It's just that they're not manufacturing them right or designing them right. And then the design wears out too fast. It's sad, but it's true. Jose Johanan says, good morning, Scotty. What do you think of the 2017 Honda Pilot Touring all-wheel drive? Well, I like the Pilots. Now, personally, I'd never buy one brand new because they're too expensive. But I've had customers buy used ones and they love them. Those V6 Honda engines can run forever. The all-wheel drive systems are pretty much bulletproof. They don't have any problems in those Honda Pilots. I've never seen one break down. They're excellent vehicles. You know, they're a little gas hoggy, but all SUVs that are all-wheel drives are gas hoggy to some extent. That's just what they are. They're big, heavy vehicles and they're going to use a lot of fuel. But they're excellent vehicles. I mean, the only thing I got against them, like I said, if you're buying a brand new one, they cost an awful lot of money. I'd buy a used one. Alex K. says, Scotty, would you recommend me to get a 1990 Acura Integra with a 1.8 engine or a Ford Probe with a 2.0 turbo? Both are relatively same condition and price. Definitely go for the Acura Integra. That 1.8, those are pretty much indestructible Honda engines. They just run and run. And a Probe with a 2.2 turbo, if it doesn't have problems now with either the engine or the turbo, it probably will soon. You definitely would want to go with the Acura Integra. It's fun. It's got enough zip to it, and it's going to outlast that Probe. Bye. Fire. David Gonzalez says, I got an O2 Chevy 1500, 106 miles. I replaced the transmission tail shaft because it was leaking. Two weeks ago, I changed just the seal. It's leaking again. Help. All right. You change the seal. Generally on those, that means that you need a new yoke because the yokes will wear too much. Now, if you look around places like Hemmings Motors, you might be able to find an oversized seal to put in, fits in so that it's a little tighter, and then the old piece will work or go inside and not leak, but most guys will just, when they take it out and put a new seal in, if it leaked after the first time, they'll get the new piece to put in and bolt it on, because that would mean that your piece where the shaft fits in is just worn. The shaft's worn and, and you can replace it. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.